Hey traders, it's John Fortune here with this week's weekly Forex forecast for the 14th of August to the 18th of August 2017. Starting with the US dollar index and oil, we're going to run through a number of currency pairs, taking a look at the key levels of support and resistance in the process. And we're also going to highlight some of the targets that we're looking for in the coming week and weeks ahead. I hope you all had a great week last week and a great weekend. Let's jump over to the charts and see where the money is this week. Starting with the US dollar index, we can see the US dollar index has been in a downtrend now for a while. So we do have a short bias on the US dollar going into next week. We do have a couple of areas of resistance that we were looking for price to trade into last week, which is the 11,977 and also the 1200 psychological area. We were going to look for shorts from these areas last week however as you can see price has formed somewhat of a reversal pattern here in the form of a head and shoulders and we got a breakout last week of the head and shoulders neckline indicating price looks like it could be moving now to the downside from where we are now that means we do go into next week with a bearish bias on the us dollar index and the expectation of a continuation of this downtrend here and we'll be looking to targets to the downside of the 11822 and also further down to the 11776. Now, if we do get a pullback and we start to see some strength in the US dollar index and we get a breakout over here, we're not going to look to trade this to the upside. We are instead going to look up to the 11997 area and also the 1200 psychological area up here as potential reversal points to the downside on the US dollar index and a continuation of the overall downtrend over here. Next, we're going to have a look at oil. Now, as you can see, oil is in an uptrend and it's been in an uptrend now for a number of weeks. We had this corrective pattern last week and it looked like it was forming somewhat of a triangle. We got this kind of false breakout and we got a retest down here of the 48.581, which is a key area of support in oil. Now we go into next week sitting at this key level of support. So we are expecting the continuation of the overall uptrend over here. And we're looking up towards the 50.524 areas, the next key area of resistance and target to the upside. And then above this, we'll be looking up towards the 51.743 as the second key area of resistance on this pair and the next target to the upside after the 50.524. If we do, however, start to see the 48.581 support area failing to hold, we'll be looking down towards the upward sloping trend line and the confluence of the next key area of support to the downside at the 47.320 area over here. So the first currency pair we're going to look at is the euro us dollar now the euro us dollar is sitting at this downward sloping trend line here and we're viewing this as a correction of this overall move to the upside over here now if we get the kind of bearish price action we're expecting next week potentially in the us dollar index then we would be expecting for the euro us dollar to hold above the downward sloping trend line here after a breakout and if that happens, we're going to be looking for bullish formations and patterns to form in this area here on the pullback to the downward sloping trend line. And we're going to be looking to initiate longs, first of all, up to the target of the 1.19680. And then secondly, up towards a second possible target to the upside at the 1.20670. Although our preference is for longs on the euro US dollar next week, if we do get a failure at this trend line and we start to see selling coming in, and a failure to break out of this downward sloping trend line, we will look down towards the targets to the downside of the 1.16827, and then the 1.16117 to the downside is the next key area of support on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is the US dollar Japanese yen. Now the US dollar Japanese yen is also in a downtrend 
and we've been seeing weakness in the US dollar. Now, if we start to see more weakness in the US dollar as we're expecting next week, we will likely see further declines in the US dollar Japanese yen. And we're looking down towards a target of the 108.250 as the next key area of support on this pair. However, what we'd like to see is a pullback first next week and possibly even a retest of the previous support turning resistance at the 109.632 area. If we get a retest of this area over here, we're going to be looking to initiate shorts on the US dollar Japanese yen next week down towards the target of the 108.250. The next pair we're going to look at is pound US dollar. Now pound US dollar spent all of last week trending to the downside in the four hour time frame, as you can see until last week, at the end of the week, it finally tagged a key level of support on the pound US dollar at the 1.29425. Now we've got a bullish engulfing candle off this at the end of the week and we also got a breakout of the downward sloping trend line here. And what we're looking for now going into next week is for price to maintain above the downward sloping trend line. And we're going to be looking for longs in the pound US dollar from where it sits now, which is the top of the downward sloping trend line. And we're going to be looking to initiate longs up towards the target of the 1.31116 on the pound US dollar. Now, if we start to get weakness in the US dollar index next week, we should see that helping the pound US dollar to the upside. The next pair we're going to look at is US dollar franc. Now last week, US dollar franc was trending to the upside and pushing to the upside until we got this big sell off as you can see over here. It broke out of, we can also put, if we put a trend line on like this, you can see it broke out of the upward sloping trend line as well and actually reversed uh, with a fairly significant capitulation. Now going into this week, we're looking for a continuation of this move over here to the downside, and we're looking down towards the targets, first of all, of the 0.95566, and then secondly, even further down to the 0.94575 as the next two key areas of support on the US dollar franc. What we would like to see next week is a pullback and a possible retest of the key area of resistance now on this pair at 0 0.96715. However, if we get a pullback deeper, we can also look up towards the resistance area of the 0 0.97117. Both of these resistance areas could provide the perfect opportunity to look for shorts, look for bearish formations and patterns on this pair to initiate shorts to the downside to these two targets here. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie US dollar. Now Aussie US dollar spent the whole of last week correcting as you can see here and I say correcting because the overall trend over here in the bigger picture is to the upside. So we are looking for a continuation of the overall uptrend as long as price can hold at the key level of support at the 0 0.78796. So what we're looking for next week is for bullish formations and patterns to appear in the area where it sits now at this key level of support. And we're looking to initiate longs up towards the targets, first of all, at the 0 0.79599. Then secondly, we have the next key air resistance to the upside, as you can see over here, at the 0 0.80381. And if we can get through both of these key areas of resistance, then we're going to look to another target to the upside of the overall target, at the 0 0.8100 psychological area on the Aussie US dollar. Now, although we favor longs on the Aussie US dollar next week, if we fail to get the weakness in the US dollar index that we're expecting, and the key level of support of the 0 0.78796 fails to hold, we will be looking at the next target to the downside. The next key area of support on this pair is the 0 0.77860, but we do favor longs preferably next week in the Aussie US dollar. The next pair we're going to look at is the New Zealand US dollar. Now, the New Zealand US dollar last week traded into the key area of support, the 0 0.72674. However, as you can see, it is still in a downtrend, making lower lows and lower highs. However, as we're expecting weakness in the US dollar index next week, we are going to look to initiate longs in the New Zealand US dollar next week. And we're going to be looking first of all to the target to the upside at the 0 0.73624. And if we can get a break through this key area of resistance, as you can see over here, 
The last time it bounced from here, it came down to here and then back up. We're looking for a similar move from here to here. And if we can get through this key area of resistance here, we're going to be looking up to the next target and next key area of resistance on New Zealand US dollar, which is a 0 0.74. 500 as you can see tested multiple times numerous times over here in the past as a well-defined area of resistance and the next target to the upside on the New Zealand US dollar the next pair we're going to look at is the euro pound now as you can see the euro pound is in an uptrend and it's been making higher highs and higher lows higher highs higher lows we had a pullback and we had some consolidation here as price rejected a number of times at this key level of resistance at the 0.90540. Now we have finally broken above this key area of resistance over here. We are looking for a continuation to the upside of the 0.91486. However, what we'd like to see first in order to get the best risk to reward ratio on this pair is a pullback and a retracement to the confluence zone of the up sloping trend line over here as well as the previous area of resistance being broken and coming back as support. So if we get a move back into this area, we're going to look to initiate longs on this pair up towards the targets of the 0 0.91486 and possibly even higher. The next pair we're going to look at is the franc yen. Now the franc yen last week bounced from the key area of support here at the 113.8. 336 and we had a breakout of this downward sloping trend line denoted by these highs over here now late on last week we had a pullback and a retest of both the downward sloping trend line and also the 113.336 area of support over here and as a result we go into next week looking for bullish formations and patterns to appear in this area and we're going to look to initiate longs up towards the target next week of the 114.610, which is next key area of resistance to the upside on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is Euro Oz. Now, last week we had a breakout of this corrective pattern over here on the Euro Oz, and we're looking for a continuation of this uptrend over here. Now, first of all, we're looking to the target to the upside at the 1.50627. As you can see, that's the next key area of resistance over here and also a number of points over on the left. And if we can get a break above the key area of resistance, the next key area of resistance at the 1.50627, we're going to be looking up towards the 1.5200 level, which is the next key area of resistance, the second key area of resistance to the upside on this pair. Now, what we are looking for next week, preferably, is a pullback and a correction down towards the key area of resistance, as you can see, which held here, held here, held a number of times over here before finally breaking. If we get a retest of this broken resistance area acting as support, this is going to be a fantastic place to look to initiate longs on this pair. The next pair we're going to look at is Aussie CAD. Now, as you can see, Aussie CAD has been getting very, very squeezed recently. Price has been very, very choppy. And then last week we had a pullback down to this upward sloping trend line, as you can see denoted by these lows over here. And we were riding this trend line, we were riding this trend line until we got a tag of the 1.00309, which as you can see has held as a key area of resistance for quite a while now with a number of failures at this level in the Aussie CAD. Now at the end of last week we had a breakout of this downward sloping trend line and we ended the week outside of it. So next week we are looking for further declines in the Aussie CAD after possibly even a retest of the upward sloping trend line in the confluence area over here of the upward sloping trend line and also the key area of resistance. However if we don't get a pullback we're still going to look to initiate shorts pretty much from where we sit now. And we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to form in this area and we're going to be looking down towards the next key area of support on this pair which is the 0 0.99444 and then if we can get a breakthrough there we're looking at a second key area of support on this pair which is the 0 0.98673. And finally, the last pair we're going to look at this week is the Pound Oz. Now, the Pound Oz retested the key area of resistance over here at the 1.65227, as you can see. Resistance over here, resistance over here. Uh, failed as support over here, resistance tested, 
tested again and it tested again at the end of last week as resistance over here before selling off. Now as you can see we are forming somewhat of a range here and so we are now expecting a little bit of a pullback ideally back up to the 1.65227 and we're going to be looking for bearish formations and patterns to appear at the top of the range here in the resistance area and we're going to look to initiate shorts down towards the target of the 1.63145 and possibly even further on this pair some of the psychological numbers down here. So that is it from me for this week guys. As always, I hope you enjoyed this week's video, and if you did, please let me know by liking, sharing, and subscribing. And for those of you who do that on a regular basis, I just want you to know that I do very much appreciate that. I hope you all have a fantastic week next week, and I hope you all have a good weekend, what's left of it. Take care, and just remember to trade safely.